We all know the saying, if you give someone an inch, they will take a mile. Well, on today's case, Mr. Tanner says his partner, Ms. Baldwin, has taken so many inches, yards, and miles that she's had to switch to the metric system and start taking kilometers also. He says that while he's worked tirelessly to provide a stable home for her, she's done nothing but lie, cheat, and steal from him. Now, he says, if things don't change, she can start packing her bags. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Tanner versus Baldwin. Thank you very much. Mr. Tanner, you say you are done with the manipulation, lies, and betrayal. You say Ms. Baldwin has given you no choice but to walk away from this relationship. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. And, Ms. Baldwin, you say Mr. Tanner is actually projecting his insecurities on you. His need to control every situation needs to stop. And despite all this, you still want to try and save the relationship. Yes, Your Honor. So I'm going to figure out how you two young people got to this point where you're in divorce court. Mr. Tanner, you brought this case. Why are we here? Uh, so, Your Honor, I'm here today because when I first met V, I thought she was... I thought she was going to be the one. I thought she was going to be my wife. The chemistry was perfect when we first met. You know, somewhere throughout the relationship, I started seeing a lot of red flags. She started being deceitful, started having trust issues. A lot of lying started stealing out of my account. She just has a lot of growing to do. And I just, frankly, I just don't have time for it anymore. So I'm ready to put this behind me. So Mr. Tanner says, Ms. Baldwin, that he walked into this um, eyes open and heart open Yep. But you have turned out to be less than what you projected. Your Honor, he's making up this story. Obviously, he's very insecure, and he doesn't trust me. And I feel, to be honest, he's just making excuses because I feel like he's the one cheating. So you see that it's not all your fault, the demise of the relationship. You say he needs to have some accountability to himself. Yes, ma'am. Why don't we go back to a time where everybody was happy? Mr. Tanner, take me back to how you all met and what led to us getting to this point where we're in divorce court. Uh, when I first met her, I, you know, I, I used to see her on social media a lot. She was always filming. You know, I thought she was real talented. I thought she was funny and beautiful. So I was always, like, messaging her and, um... You slid into her DMs. I slid into her DMs. Right. Yeah, I, I was... I was persistent. Um, we both was actually in a relationship at the time, and we was kind of just getting out of it. And, um, I just started DMing Y'all be mama. cracking me up. Talking about y'all be in relationships, <laughs> but you steady slide into each other's DMs. Exactly. Yeah. You know, if you want loyalty... Y'all have to learn to give loyalty also. The courteous thing to do is to tell your present partner things aren't working out. I'm about to start shopping again. You understand yeah. my point? I was being faithful. I ignored him. I ignored his DM because I was in a relationship. When I got out of my relationship, that's when I ended up sliding back to him and I gave him a chance. So when I met him, I knew he was pretending to be this person that he wasn't. First of all, when you first meet somebody, of course, you're gonna have a filter on when you first meet them. Yeah, I always say the first 18 months of a relationship, you're dating the agent. You're not really dating the yeah. client. So once we finally establish you're not in another relationship, you're not in another relationship, you're gonna give it a try. Right. Is that fair to say? Yes. Yeah. So you yes, start so. dating. But, Mr. Tanner, I understand you allowed Ms. Baldwin to move in pretty quickly. Yeah, the chemistry was perfect when we first met. Mm -hmm. um, she had a she had a son at the time. I thought he was a good kid. You know, um, I wanted to like help him out with school, and uh, he was in the sports. And I told her like, let's just move in, and cause we can build more if we live in the same household. So did you take on almost a father figure? I took on the father figure. Yeah, I love that boy. I love that boy. Now it's interesting to me. You work outside of the home. Am I correct? Yeah. So you're yes, the one. That's the primary breadwinner in your family? Yes, Your Honor. And you took all that responsibility on? Yeah, I took the burden on myself, because I loved her. So I was willing to take whatever she had, whatever came with her. So why don't you tell me, Mr. Tanner, since you brought the case, you started having trust issues. What was that about, sir? You know, it, it started with her job at the beginning. Um, she was filming with a lot of different creators online, and she was playing the female girlfriend role. And um, it was a time where I seen her getting real physically interacting with, with one of the uh, guys that she was shooting skits with. Like, so he had I'm, her hands I'm, I'm on her. So I'm curious, is this how Ms. Baldwin makes her living? I'm also a personal trainer, ma'am. Okay. I have friends that I work with on uh, social media. She films skits with them, and, and, they, oh. and a lot of times they're really inappropriate. 
Oh, I see. So all he knew what I was into when well, he that, met Well, he already pointed out that he saw some of your videos, so... Exactly. We knew that. But tell me what was inappropriate about it, Mr. Tanner. Well, her videos started getting more and more disrespectful as time went on. Like, she was playing scenes where guys were actually, like, touching her ass Excuse and grabbing me? her wings. Why are you making us stories like and that? And she would tell me, it, it, oh, we're just, we're just doing a, a regular skit. Um, it's harmless. So I look, I check out the skit, and, and it's... A lot of physical touching and so she's that made you uncomfortable. That made yeah, you uncomfortable? I didn't feel comfortable with something. I had to, I had to turn the cheek on a lot. To be honest, your honor, I have no clue what he's talking about. The because, lingerie, uh, the clothing, the touching. There's no lingerie. The what are you talking about? That sex scene you had I in the music video. Making up stories. What about the gym, huh? One time he came up to my to the gym, your honor, where you work, cause you're a personal yes. trainer. My ex was at the gym one time, and I had a cramp. So I don't know any other guy, and I don't trust any guy. So I told my ex. Can he just help me stretch my legs? So he was supposed to be at work, but instead of going to work, he came up to, the, to my job spying on me because he over here lying, saying that somebody called him and told him that I was over here being unfaithful. Your Honor, I don't control who comes to the gym. Yeah, That's but you do control who cap. stretches your legs. It was just the stretch, Your Honor. That's it. Is your ex-boyfriend a personal trainer? No. No. So not there's at all. another personal trainer that's a colleague that could have stretched yes, your legs. Yes, but I was just starting in that gym, so I don't know anybody. But there. it doesn't matter if you know them. If you're a colleague, your colleagues will help you stretch if you have a cramp. She you knew what she was doing. You your can't honor. tell me that you didn't make a choice. It's one thing to tell me you think he went left for no reason, but you made a choice to allow somebody that you had a previous relationship with to put you in the proverbial trick bag so that your man could walk in there and be ticked off. That's a choice. I, I understand, Your Honor. Can I but say that didn't honor? give him the right to go crazy and get me kicked out the gym. Now, now I will move over to, to you. Did you go left? So she actually went on a girl's trip one day when I was at work. And here comes another situation where she's going out of town. I gave her my trust, and I look online, and I see her that she's in an Airbnb with, a, with some girls and some guys running around that I've never seen before. Was it a mixed gender baby child? So, Your Honor, this is the real story. I had a female friend that called me while I was at work and said that my girlfriend was actually in a car with her ex and she was training with him every morning while I'm at work. So I have my homegirl call me up while I'm at work. So I decided to act like I was going to work one day and decided to pop up at the gym that we both go to and I found out that she was in there so I came in the gym and confronted him, and then we got in an altercation. So you we went actually, left? Yeah, I was already on 10 when I walked in there. There was nothing that happened. But it you was... can understand I when do. Mr. Tenner walked I in, I understand. it looked like a trick. I understand. You exactly. see what I'm saying? That's my only point. You would have gone left if you walked in on him in the middle of a stretching session with an ex. You would not have liked it because you would have thought it was disrespectful. I understand. Right? Yes, Your Honor. See, we're only trying to come to an agreement so that we know if you can move forward. And, Your Honor, she had little remorse after that incident. And throughout the relationship, I was finding text messages um, with guys texting her when she's coming home in the middle of the night. One day, one day she came home, pissy drunk, one of her heels was broke, came inside the house, and passed out on the bed. So I went through her phone. I lift the phone up and put it over her face and unlocked it with the, with the face recognition. And I went through all her text messages and all I seen was guys talking about, oh, when are you coming back? Oh, I had such a good time. Uh, you should let me take you out again. All these text messages that I found out that night that she came home pissy drunk, Honor, I didn't say nothing about it until the next morning, and she still didn't have no accountability. Oh, I just my friends. Oh, I'm just they're working. Just you know, I got friends. a lot of guys. He friends. literally just said they're only saying when you're coming back. There's none of those messages are saying that I'm cheating. I'm just the party person. When I, the party's lit, when I get there. Why is the guys talking about they miss you though? Miss Bowen, I'm just trying to figure out. Don't you all have? Boundaries in your relationship? The two yes, of you? we do, but I'm young and I'm just living my life. And he knows that. Yeah, but here's my thing, Ms. Baldwin. If I'm in a living situation with a partner, I'm courteous enough not to be socializing with miscellaneous men. I mean, and I'm also courteous enough not to be socializing with miscellaneous women. Because you're in a relationship, 
you want to be courteous to your partner. I am courteous to my partner. He already knew what our relationship was. He's being controlling. No, he's I just knew... He's being controlling and insecure. There's, like he said, in none of those messages, it was anything about me cheating. It's just me just living my life, going out. And when he said I was PC drunk, I wasn't drunk. Somebody just spilled the drink on me, and I, that's why I smell like alcohol. And um, another thing, Your Honor, let me tell you this. So she actually went on a girl's trip one day when I was at work. So mind you, we just got past the whole gym situation, and here comes another situation where she's going out of town. I gave her my trust, and I look online, and I see her that she's in an Airbnb with, a, with some girls and some guys running around that I've never seen before. Was it a mixed gender baby shower? <laughs> there, there were my friends who had their mans and their friend, male friends there. But why didn't you invite your male friend? He would have never came anyways if she I would have invited him. She never invites me. She never me. You don't like going out anywhere. Tell him how, tell her how you paid for the trip. She took one of my credit cards when I was at work. I looked at my statement, and I seen that she was having all type of transactions um, out in Miami with her friends. And then she also put a bag on my credit card, too, a Chanel bag. Shada Baldwin, is yes. that your cousin? Yes. I got a piece of evidence, a video message. I guess I'm here today because I wanted to let you know that... Why don't you do this to me, Doc? Why don't you do this? You just tell me that at home. Why did you do this to me? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. When I, when I first met him, he, was, he said he was going to provide everything and give me everything. He told me this. So I, since you're doing all of this, why can't he pay for my trip? But Ms. Bowen, that's the kind of conversation you had. Did you say to him, babe, can you pay for this trip? I did, and he said no. Then that, you know what that means? Because I'm, I'm working three jobs paying everything, Because that's what you're supposed to do. Excuse you're supposed me? to take care of me. That's and what, what are you, you supposed to do? Ms. Bowen, you 34 years old. Yes. Once you turn 18, don't nobody have no legal obligation to take care of you. You might be cute, but you can take care of your doggone self. And if somebody is nice enough to want to provide for you, a little gratitude is what usually comes from it. You do know that's called stealing. When you take the man's credit card without his permission and then you buy things on it, that's stealing. I don't consider it stealing when it we're living what you together. Consider. I don't know. It doesn't matter what you consider. If he called the police, they would have picked your pretty butt up in Miami, and you would have been in the Dade County Jail. The only reason I didn't report it is because she had a son. That's the only reason I, I was being considered over him, because I You told me kid. you were going to buy me that bag for my birthday, and I waited. On my own timing. But something came up, right? Okay, I understand the stealing part. <laughs> you but understand the stealing I, part. He told me he was going to buy me the bag anyway. That's not even the first time she stole me, Your Honor. Let me tell you another situation. Wow. She tells me that she's going on a trip with her girls for a, prom for a promo and that um, she got something where she's going to get a boob job after the promo. They, they're going to pay for her boob job. Okay. Find out that was a lie. I look at my... Tell me, look at my statement one day and I see $3,500 missing Ow. off my statement. At a cosmetic surgery center. You paid for the boob job. He didn't pay for the full boob job. The boob job was like seven thousand. It doesn't 000. matter. He paid just half. He be looking at all these women with their boobs. I felt insecure, and I told him that. But you he... didn't feel secure enough to go get a job your dog gonna sell so you could pay for your own. Yo, you he me fired. Fired. It's happening here. What all I want to know is. Who raised you to think that you could steal from folk and it's okay? I didn't steal from him. Yes, you did. Got, we got into this relationship. Excuse and he me. He knew what he was getting into. But it wasn't He's the yours. one that gets to enjoy them. How is that stealing? First of all, the, the sex is not. The sex, the sex went downhill, ma'am. Your Honor, so that's I'm listening. Not, I have my cousin go pick some of my clothes. And mm -hmm. later, I realized that something was fishy between him and her. And then when we got back together, I went through his phone. And I seen a conversation between both of them. Your cousin? Yes. 
and Mr. Tanner. Yes. How I'm not a good girlfriend and good morning, beautiful, how you doing? Just stuff like that. Yeah, I seen all that. I got a piece of evidence. Shada Baldwin, is yes. that your cousin? Yes. I got a piece of evidence submitted uh, from her, a video message. Let me see what she actually said. Hey, my name is Mango Baldwin, and Veronica Baldwin is my cousin. I just felt like my cousin was disrespecting her man. He does a lot for her. You know, I was being a good cousin, and she would send me over there to go pick up her stuff when they were having their fights. And one day, you know, I was over there, and he was, you know, he started opening up to me. One thing led to another because I opened up too. I guess I'm here today because I wanted to let you know that he is leaving you. Dawn is leaving you. We've been talking, and we are going to be together now. What? I'm sorry. What is she You don't deserve about? him. He Girl, doesn't need to keep doing this for about? you. I'm a much Girl, better woman than you, and about? this is just how what it's going to be. She's leave okay? You leaving me for her? You leaving V, you did this to yourself. I do this to myself. You're sleeping with my cousin. My cousin, Don. My cousin. Well, maybe if you've been there and she and you, she, that wouldn't have happened. Seriously, this is what you're saying? You think your honor? He's just controlling. And he's a cheater. He's a liar. Man, she did that to herself. She did I it to herself. I didn't give you time. I didn't give you chance after chance. So you had that coming. I'm sorry you had to find out that way. But yes, me and your cousin has been talking for a while. <laughs> you haven't been there. <laughs> She's so concerned about partying and stuff like that. <laughs> and her cousin's always there. She's been there for Maybe me. Maybe if you go out with me, I wouldn't. Maybe if you stop watching those pornos, I wouldn't be doing any of that. Porno? Like, if you stop going out with me, I wouldn't be out in the streets. I wouldn't be out partying. But instead, you at home sleeping with my cousin. V, you act like a little girl. You just... little yes, you are. Little you have boy. a lot of growing up to do. You're boy you sleeping with my cousin. And then she had to tell me. You didn't even have to tell me that. You didn't even have to tell me that, Don. How about that? It's you, okay, Your Honor. I'm leaving. You, I'm leaving. I'm done. I'm sorry you had to find out that way, but... You're not you, sorry, Mr. Tanner. We all can put all our cards on the table. You wanted to get her back for hurting you. That's I what did, you did, yeah, I did. I did. That's evil! I That's did. evil! But, I did, but it, it just started off as a fling, Your Honor. I, I didn't know that me and her cousin was going to build a relationship that was going to be to where now we're together now. Well, in I'm all sorry. honesty, you serious? this is why a lot of guys can't can't be good to their women because yeah, they take advantage I'm ready of them. To go. When you constantly, I'm, I'm sorry. When you constantly, when you constantly giving your all and you, you taking care of your Robert, woman, she gonna take. Robert, she wants to take be advantage with her. of you. I don't care. Be with her. You win. That's what you wanted. Watch your stuff. Watch your stuff. I don't want you to get hurt. You know, Mr. Tanner. In all honesty, um, there were lots and lots of red flags that y'all were not gonna make it. But the relationship with her cousin, you owed yourself as a man an honest approach. You know that. What y'all have going, you and the cousin, won't last. Because how you get them will be how you lose them. Because you're not going to want to make somebody your wife who would be a tricky hoe. And that's the situation we're all both in. You know that. I understand, Your Honor. And that's not the example that you should be setting for that little boy that you told me you loved. Family just got blown up. <laughs> you ready to handle all of the ramifications of the blow up? I'm ready. I, I just want to put this behind me, my honor. Um, I, I just feel like I've been manipulated and I've been used throughout this entire relationship. Um, and you know what? And I've you, been pushed to this corner. And you manipulated and you used. So, what's good for the goose? It's good for the gander. <laughs> Great example of you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. She was in love with the money. We gotta, you gotta face it. She was in love with the money, didn't care what he thought. But my man picked up the red phone and made the call. Nuclear option. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope that Chanel bag keep you warm at night.
made in Georgia.